Hi guys, hopping on here real quick. Today is my first official, unofficial vlog. I am trying vlogs now. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. It's probably going to be the worst video you've ever watched in your entire life, but I have a little time lapse of me getting ready and then you guys are going to meet my animals and see how much we spoil and love them. And yeah, I have a lot of animals, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So keep on watching and I'll see you guys again. So it's almost our nap time, so usually they come and lay on my bed, so I'm just gonna kind of sit on my bed and wait for one to jump up here to take a nap. Here's one right now. Okay, so the first kitty I have is Miss Billy Jo. We got her from my boyfriend's aunt, and she is a good addition besides the fact that she pees on my floor. She does not like the dog at all, but she's too much of a wimp to do anything about the dog, so... But we haven't had her for very long, so I don't really know all about her personality. She doesn't really like to snuggle or anything. I mean, she is kind of right now, but she won't, like, jump up on my chest like the other cats do and lay with me. But she's very beautiful, and I love her even though she's kind of a pain in my rear end by peeing on my floor all the time. Next, we have her sister, and she might not let me pick her up, but we're going to try. This is Becky with an I. She is trying to lick me. She is the one that snuck outside and she is now pregnant. So we have kittens on the way. Um, when we first got her, she was the devil. Like I couldn't even go to the bathroom without getting attacked. So I would drive to Casey's to go take a poop because she would sit there. Yeah, you would hiss at me and try to attack me. Like she is right now digging her claws into my leg, but she is all black and beautiful and she's getting angry. So I'm gonna let her go. <laughs> Braylee! Braylee, come here! By the way, I'm gonna do all the cats first before I get the dog out because once the cats get riled up with the dog, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, this is Braylee. She's our long girl. She is <laughs> so long. And she is honestly the sweetest kitty ever. She used to not like us at all, and then she went through heat the first time. Yeah. Thank you. And then all of a sudden, she just really liked us. She is by far my favorite to snuggle with. She always is crawling up onto my chest when I'm sleeping and she'll like snuggle her head on me like she is right now. She loves being held like a baby most of the time, but apparently not right now. She's been kind of independent today. Like today, she's just like, come mom, screw off. You don't need to love on me, but she's gonna have to deal with it because I love her. She is very hyper. She runs, she grabs onto the curtains. We got her from a guy in a different town and I got her for Nick's birthday and I was supposed to just bring her home but then I ended up bringing one of her sisters home. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and actually the sister, she was very little and tiny and we thought she was going to die so I was like trying to save her but I was like, well. But then she ended up doing really good and we call her Brittany and Nick named her that so he can call her Brittany bitch. And she actually responds to that so... <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get her. She doesn't, she's not the biggest fan of me, like ever. Like occasionally she'll come and cuddle with me. Brittany! Brittany! Hi! Hi, Brittany is like the perfect mix between all of our cats. She's calico and she has stripes. Yeah, she doesn't really like me. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. She does love me. Don't get me wrong. My cats love me. They're just being a pain in the butt today because. They want to take a nap. You want to take a nap, mama? Brittany is so pretty, and I love her for the most part, but when she attacks me, I don't really love her. But this is our little angel baby. She's so pretty. You're so pretty, mama. She's also very hyper, but she's also very shy. Like, she kind of just hangs out underneath the bed all day, and then, like, when her and her sister fight, they roll around and wrestle all around the house, which is pretty typical around here. But yeah, she's so pretty. And Nick just loves her with how pretty she is. Hey! But yeah, she's super playful when she wants to be. Otherwise, she just kind of hangs out underneath the bed and hides from everyone, which I don't blame her. 
I think she gets that from me. She just kind of hides from everyone and doesn't have any friends. So, so I was a mean cat mom and just woke up Miss Belle. She was sleeping on the cat tree, which I'll show you guys everything that we have for them. But Miss Belle is my baby. She loves to snuggle, even though she's mad because I woke her from a nap right now. But she just loves to snuggle most of the time, except for right now. Um, she, she's just perfect. She's so soft and cuddly, and she has a goatee. If you can't see, she has a little goatee, and she's got a little bright, bright spot. She's so cute. All of my cats I have trained to give smooches, except for the two new ones. They don't quite understand it, but they do understand it. So, let's see. You saw that Braylee gave me a smooch, so I'll be like, come here, come give me smooches, and then give me a smooch. Yeah, you want to give mom my smooch? Hey, can mama have a smooch? Thank you. You're so nice. Um, but yeah, so we have one more cat and I have no idea where he is and he's my first kitty and he gets kind of jealous. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> is my baby booters. He has extra toes on each of his paws. I can think of the words I was trying to say. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but he's my first baby. He a big boy. He's my big boy. He likes to be cuddled like a, a baby, but one of the cats is in heat right now and he's the only boy cat in the house. So he's always like, you know, like an advertised high school boy, aren't you? He's very sweet. He's always been my emotional support animal for years now and I'm never letting go of him. He's my baby. He knows better than to fight mom. See like this, he likes to be held like a baby. He, we literally walk around like this for hours. He just likes to be held like a baby. He's so sweet most of the time. You get on his bad side, you're on his bad side. He's very protective over me, over Nick. Like if Nick and I are laying in the bed, Boots will come and lay with me. But like if Nick tries to grab Boots, Boots will like freak out and <laughs> run away. But, like, if Nick's home alone, Boots will cuddle with him. Or, like, I'm not in the room, Boots will cuddle with him. But otherwise, no, it's not going to happen. So, yeah. I have six cats, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I have six cats and one is a boy. Um, they're all my pride and joys. I love them all so much. We're still getting these two worked on the dog. Otherwise... I mean, Boots doesn't like the dog when he messes with him, but the, the dog's laying there. He's fine with him. Um, Brittany, since she's so shy and she's so scared of the world, she's scared of Delta, so she hisses at it, but she doesn't do anything. She just goes and hides. But these two, they will just stick their hair up and growl all day long, and we're working on getting them better with the dog. What are you doing? So, yeah. So if you hear like random noises in my videos, it's more likely the cat's destroying my house. I literally have to sweep and mop my house every single day. And then I come home from work and it's destroyed. So that's how that works. But yeah, so I love all of my kitties. I'm going to show you guys like the things that we have around the house for them. Because, you know, they're pride and joys and we spend way too much money on them. But that's okay. Um, and then we're going to meet Delta and hopefully these two will be napping somewhere else. Otherwise, it's not going to be it very much. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys everything that we have like bought them recently and then yeah, this is what we're going to do. Oh, let's, let's roll and then we're going to meet the puppy. Gross because my dog doesn't understand that he's supposed to eat his food in his food bowl before he takes a drink out of the, the water thing. But we decided to go with gravity feeders because like we have so many, we just kind of let them eat whenever they want. I'm not kidding you, I filled this up two days ago and that's how much food they have eaten. Like, we go through food like crazy. Delta, we just got on bold food, so he's like trying to get used to it. He's not that big of a fan of it, but as you can see, I fed him tortilla chips because he really likes tortilla chips and I spoil him a little bit. But yeah, so then we have this giant water feeder and then Delta also has another food dish and a water dish outside in his little area. So yeah. But otherwise... We have litter boxes. We have ones with lids over the top because they still manage to get litter everywhere. And their food, that's supposed to be over here. So, like, this is all of their toys in this little tooth thing. Normally it's full, but they have the toys scattered everywhere. So, yeah. They know how to get these toys out, too. They literally just, like, grab them with their claws. And Delta just reaches down in there and grabs whatever he wants. So, I'm laying here editing this. And I just noticed that there is a full-on steak knife in the toy box. So, 
Don't worry, guys. I don't let them play with knives. I'm going to go remove that right now because I don't even know how they got in there, but apparently they're trying to kill us. So that's great. I'm glad I figured that one out right away. <laughs> and then, so we have this giant tree cat stand thing that his aunt gave us when we got the two cats because she was like, what the hell am I doing? This is my house. They absolutely love this thing. I'm surprised none of them are laying on it right now. They like seriously are like obsessed with this thing. Like they all just like scatter all the way through all the tears and sleep. And then over here we have, I have this pack and play that I use when I babysit. But like I put the blankets in it when I'm not babysitting because I have nowhere else to put them and I own a lot of blankets. But Boots actually loves to lay on top of all these blankets and like hide himself and then when like a cat walks by he'll like jump off and attack them. And Belle absolutely loves sacks and boxes. It is a weird thing. Like, I don't even know where the sack came from. Like, I thought I threw them all away. But, yeah, we had to watch her because, you know. Yeah. And it was funny. The other day, Belle climbed into a box of something that Nick had ordered online. And then Brittany got on top. And she closed the lid on her. It wouldn't let her out. So I had to go rescue her. So that was the highlight of my day. Hi, Mama. Can I have this sack before you murder yourself? This is why one of us has to be home at all times. Because they just get into everything. This chair is normally the one that Becky sits on, if you can't see. And she loses so much hair now that she's pregnant. And it's weird. But, Brinkley! Hi, Mama! Hello! Go ahead, I'm gonna move these two, even though they look so sweet right here. Aww. I'm gonna nicely wake them up. Hi, Mama. Can I move you so the puppy don't get you? Yeah. It's okay. Ugh. So, sometimes when the dog is out, they just like to be up as high as they possibly can. So, I'm gonna put her up there. And we'll see if Becky lets us pick her up. Hi, Mama. Hi for your babies. Hey! Like that. She just attacked me. So, no, that's not going to work. So, I'm just going to let the dog out and she's going to learn her lesson. What are you doing, pretty boy? Hi. Hi, Mama. Okay, let's go into bed. Get on to bed. Look at her. She's like, oh, shit, there's the dog. Later. <laughs> she's going to be so mad. Come on, Delta. She's gonna be so mad. Oh my god. Delta, up! 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna get feisty. And I just want to do this with Delta really quick. Oh my god. I'm kind of scared because, like, yeah, she'll do that. But a couple times she's like hit Delta in the nose and he like has anxiety, so he nervous pees. Oh, there she goes. She's gone. Okay. Okay, lay down. This is my baby Delta. Yeah, can you can you calm down? Oh, he is a pitbull boxer mastiff mix. He is so so pretty. I love him so much. He's actually did I say he's a rescue pup? He's a rescue pup, and my boyfriend brought him home after drill one weekend, <laughs> and we have been in love with him ever since. He is the perfect addition to our family. We had a lot of training problems with him in the beginning. He like found his energy and he didn't know how to conserve his energy and like having anxiety did not help him so he just wants to be hugged so like we ended up having to take him to dog school like last month was it last month this month whatever we took him to dog school and he is so much better now um i just it just made it so much easier to be able to actually train him ourselves like i didn't know what to do at this at the point like i had tried every kind of training there was and now we're getting it. Are you tired? You want a nap? You want to nap. Let me see if I can. Oh. So, yeah. He is so, so perfect. I love him so much. Last night, I actually almost got kicked off the bed between him and Nick snuggling. They took up over half the bed. And I was literally laying on the edge. But I wouldn't want it any other way. No other way, Bubba. He is 
seriously a mama's boy. He, like, would much rather listen to me than Nick. Like, if he will listen to Nick, it's a rare occasion. But otherwise, he just listens to me because he's mama's baby. You mama's baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, people think pit bulls are the scariest animals ever. And, like, whenever a baby comes over, Delta just wants to see the baby so bad and just stare at it and give it little kisses. And he's so gentle with babies. He's so gentle with everyone. I mean, he'll jump on you. But that's, he's like, hello, hello, hello. Because he loves seeing people. You love new people. He's seriously my pride and joy. Like, I, I come home and the cats have destroyed my house and he's just laying so peacefully in his bed in his crate and I'm just like, oh, you want to come back, mom? And I spoil him. Um, I feed him human food. Nick does not like that, but he deserves it. You deserve it most of the time, even though you just peed on the floor earlier. Yeah, earlier, I don't know if he was scratching at the door and I wasn't paying attention, but he just came in here and peed on my robe and he got into a lot of trouble, didn't you? Is that why you're being good now? Is that why you being a good boy? Yeah. So yeah, this is my puppy boy, Delta. He's so hyper. I love him with all my heart. He's my baby. So yeah, that's, that's, that's all the animals. Hopefully I can do more videos with animals. I'm hoping that like maybe I could train my cats to sit, but um, <laughs> I don't know about that. But yeah, so I have lots of animals and I'm probably going to expand to get more. Sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, those are me animals. I'm going to insert a little slideshow of pictures of all of them so you guys can see my little model babies because they are models. The other day, the first picture I'm going to show you is Delta just sitting and then I told Delta to smile and he smiled afterwards and it was seriously the cutest thing ever. And I am obsessed. I am obsessed with you. I am obsessed. I am so obsessed with you. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. We're going to take a nap.